We might as well get around. Do there's any teeth for us to grab here? Yes. They just seem to appear. There must be more to do around here, right? Bruh. Hmm. We still need that elk to get that done. Hmm. It'll be a hard combo to get across. Ooh. We don't have duplicates, but we can, like, start working towards the duplicates. It's hard to see what's about. Somebody told me there's a way to flatten the map so you can see what's behind trees. But I don't know how they said to do it. Press, is that press W again? Whoa. Oh, I can see my deck. Neat. Didn't know I could do that. So there's um, a totem battle there, and that's a custom choice based on the like race of the card or whatever. I think we go this way. What do we have? Ooh. Good choices. Getting the Corpse Eater ability is good, especially to infuse in a really strong card. Or we get a 1 cost 3-2 with Mighty Leap and Leader. Actually, Leader is very good. I'm taking that. Hmm, I have no cards. I have no duplicates. I can start working toward combining duplicates. Or I could infuse. I do like infusing. A lot of choices, actually. Does it give both your abilities? So many choices. Ooh, I could give that triple strike to something that has more damage. I could give that to... If we get if we draw the right card, giving that trifurcated strike would be extremely good. Depending on what we get to put it in. A wolf that does three damage to three different tiles. He's a 3-7 with unkillable. And Muddy Leap, which means he can attack flyers with it. Or we give it to Reginald. Who uh has touch of death, so you literally play Reginald and he just guaranteed kills three units. As long as not flyers, he will deal three damage to three units. Which isn't necessarily necessarily lethal. But he's unkillable. He just goes back in your hand. It's a tough call. Hmm. That's a tough call. I mean, he's likely to be... Mm, I don't know, man. Oh, go back. Alright, fine. We'll give it to uh, CG Plays. I think the other one could have been better, but... This guy can attack twice, and he's got unkillable. Plus, he's got my name on him. Alright. Squirrel. What do you have? Ringworm, two worker hints. Summon CG plays. Do we summon CG plays or do we wait? We summon them. We'll place them here. We enter. The ringworm can just stay there as a dead card. Oof, four damage. Ouch. Hmm. Do I just put a uh, squ squirrel there to give me bones? Oh, that worker ant's going to be a 3-2 when it comes out. It's just going to kill CG plays. Hmm. Well, I can use the bones to bring Rangel out to kill one of them. We might lose this, actually. I can already tell we're going to need this. Let's just, uh... Clear out this worker ant. I can already tell we're not going to have a chance of winning unless we uh, use some items. These worker ants are just disgusting together. And there's another one. Alright, um... Try one of these. Wolf. Not what we're looking for. You can... Insta-kill. Guess I should have given you Trifurcated Strike or whatever. Insta-kill that and turn. Reduce the damage we take a little bit. Doesn't matter. Jeez. I wish I was... Ah, finally got to draw my card. I wish I could, like, look to see... 
my candles. I thought I would draw my card first. Um, I guess I need a squirrel. Okay, we have two, so if we lose here... I'm tempted to use the dagger, but the problem is we're going to be like blind for the rest of the run, which is super annoying. I'd rather just be rid of this somehow. It says the pain is temporary. Maybe they'll go. Maybe the blurred vision will go away. It's fine. We're scratching our nose. Don't worry about it. I should have counted how many that gave us. Four or five. Helps. Hmm. So we can do. Yeah. See. See how, see how hard it is to see. Hopefully, it's only for this one battle. I think it lasts for the whole run, doesn't it? I'll find out. Squirrel. I can use you to trade for Reginald. Use, I can get another item with the pack rat. Trade you to take out this worker ant. Reduce some of that incoming damage. So it's overpowered how many worker ants are coming in. Jeez. Alright, um. Let's get a squirrel. In. Wait, what item did I get? I can't see it. Down the squirrel. What item did I get? I can't see. Scissors. Fantastic. I'll be using these to chop up you. There we go. And I can, uh, your view too. Put the wolf over here. Take care of that. There we go. I use every item in the book to get it done. It's got a 1 2 come behind it with a leader. Nothing next to it though. Draw a card. Porcupine. It's a 1 2, which would kill that, and your spines would start to work on that behind it. This guy's only got 1 hit points left. Yeah, let's, uh,. You would think that'd be a bad trade, but actually, in this circumstance, it works out well. Because the spines do counterattack damage. And you stay alive because you have more health. Can't play you, we wait. Somehow we managed to come back and win this. Had to use every item we had, but... Made it happen. You know, just wait a turn. Another squirrel. Somehow... We got it done. By using like four items. Nice. I feel like I should have given the trifurcated strike to the um other guy. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Okay, good, they are gonna like fix it. Perhaps you'd like to replace it? Oh so I'm I gotcha, so I get a chance to replace it. Well, this one looks interesting. Oh. Achievement locked. Ancestral vision. Find salvation. <sighs> Cuckoo clock. Better. Much better. I wish I'd done this sooner, actually. Find salvation. Cuckoo clock. I can't see what these... Is my zoom-in working is the question. It is. It's not actually showing for you guys, but it is for me. Find salvation in Cuckoo clock. Um, I can't see what these, uh, okay, so, zooming in didn't really show me anything else better. Regardless, the choice is final. Hmm, it'll be a little bit distracting. So, find salvation in the cuckoo clock. Maybe my ancestral vision will show me. <gasps> that is so cool. Okay, so, the smudge is there, mean nothing. So... Do you go there? Or do you go over here? I feel like you go there. And you go on that one. Oh, that is so cool. What do we get? Stunted wolf. <gasps> we finally freed him. Take the film roll. Before he sees it. Now. What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Achievement locked. Reborn hope. So we got Stunted Wolf and we got the film roll. The film is the special film for the camera. This is so cool. This is so cool. I can go look at him in my deck too. Where is he? Stunted Wolf, he's a 2-2 two -two that costs 1. With no special ability. It's okay, I guess. Awesome. We solved the Cuckoo Clock puzzle.
Ooh, that's a good ability to infuse, Corpse Eater. Ringworm's just garbage. The Stalwart Snapper. A near impenetrable defense. He's alright. We'll go for this one. Good to infuse with. Ah, the duplicates. I don't think we have duplicates, so we'll get a free card, I suppose. Did, did you bring us two of the same? We would like to experiment. Uh, oh, hmm. Oh. Your cards are all distinct. No pairs. So he gives us another card. Ooh, uh, another one of those is not bad. It's basically, which ones do you want to combine? All So... If we meet him, if we grab two of these and meet him again, they combine them into like a 2-4 corpse maggots. This would be a 2-4 porcupine. Or a 4-4 four, four pack rat, actually. Not be bad. Sure. Although that is, that is deck bloat in the meantime. Because those are kind of hard to play. Although, more items, actually. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It has been... Quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat, in the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. Stunted wolf. Wait a second. Oh, he does have an ability. Oh no no, my sigil gave him my sigil gave him bifurcated strike. My, no, my totem. My totem gave him bifurcated strike. Nice. And look at his pictures. Change his pictures changing again. Looks like he's inside of like a some kind of like Game Boy kind of thing. Okay, what do you have? Stump, stump, bullfrog, bullfrog. I put a squirrel down. And I'll put the stunted wolf right. Here. Actually, it's not. Put it here. You'll take one damage and live. And I, if I put it here, you're just like safe behind the stump forever. It's only using one half of its bifurcated strike, but it's like just here we are. It's, it's literally just free attacks with nothing attacking it back. Yeah, it's not using its full damage potential, but it's it's completely safe from harm, which is probably worth it. We'll grab a squirrel. Hmm, got an adder coming in back there. I will. Sacrifice a squirrel for the stoat to insta-kill the bullfrog with touch of death. The stunted... Oh, man, the stunt... Bifurcated strike actually pretty solid. Okay. Got some leader going on there. Um... Yeah, I'll put the squirrel down here. Summon the bullfrog. Stunted wolf kills that. You go through. You do a little bit, you do a little bit of damage. Seems good. Ooh, a 4-1 Rattler. Terrifying. Let's see, what do we have? Pack Rats. Ooh, you're gonna deal... We're gonna deal 3 damage to him. Then you're gonna do 4 to me. We'll survive. I'm not sure I want to sacrifice these two for a Pack rat. I think we'll just, like, wait and draw some more cards. He's got so many cards, though. Brutal. Hmm. I wouldn't draw, like, a bone card. Two to you. I think we lose unless we take out that. We have no choice. Unlucky. Gotta kill the Rattler. Ah, I got nine for it, though. Um, we'll take you out. You'll do three to me. Which I think we survive. Oh, overkill, nice. Oof, almost. Um, can't play. Squirrel could block the adder. Hmm. I'm hoping to draw something that plays for bones, but what if we don't? See, unlucky. Actually, we could. That actually might work. Um, we're probably gonna need. Probably need that. If I, you're a one-two, which means you can kill the adder. Then a, another bullfrog comes behind it. Or you can hurt the alpha, and then when the alpha attacks you, it'll die. But then we take two from you. You see your hands there. So if I play you here, one more, and we're dead. 
but we'll do two to you, and then you do two to us, so we'll still be the, still be the same spots. The alpha's the problem. The adder's gonna come in too. I don't know if this is the move. No, because we had to sacrifice the pack rat, and then we would lose. If we use this... If I play the pork... So the porcupine has to go here, I think. Take out the adder. And we have to use this. Ouch. My tooth. And I guess we have to end turn and hope for the best. Nope. No such luck. Guess I should have saved the items we lost anyways. Oh no. We can recover. It's painful to see. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't play that very well, I don't think. Hmm. How many I wish I could tell how many teeth I have. Well, I can. Looks like a decent amount. Um. Yeah. Yeah, seems good. I'll be clear with ye. The trapping business has been lagging. After being defeated by that challenger. Well, I'm thinking of clear me inventory. Trying something else. Pelts are cheaper now. Oh. A discount because we've beaten for. On the house. So a discount for beating him already. Nice. Golden pelt. Golden pelt. Golden pelt. Golden pelt. I need more teeth for that one. Guess that'll do. Much appreciated. Alright. Let's infuse. Hmm. What do we want to infuse? The corpse maggots. Onto something expensive. Just get someone to free. Oof. Bone pelts kind of clogging our deck here, huh? Hmm. Pack rat plays itself for free. Does cost two blood. Or the wolf plays itself for free. It's a three, two. Or Reginald. Eh, Reginald's kind of like... Hmm. Maybe the wolf. Actually, if we combine the pack rats, they'll become a four, four. No, no the pack rats, actually. Because so if we combine them, there'll be a 4-4 four, four that sums itself for free. Two blood. That's, that's ability that's, that ability is better put on a 3-cost card, to be honest. Or 4-cost. Hello. A rotten scent caused you to retch. Doubled over, a mucky boot entered your field of view. You looked up to behold an unnaturally large figure. Oh. I am the angler. You are the fish. I see. Well then. Hmm. It's hard to see that. What's on top of it? Something is crawling across it. Well, it's a what? It's gonna fly over what I put there, anyways. Squirrel. Unless I use the bullfrog to stop it. But then I'll hide, so I'll just kill my bullfrog in two turns. Just no... No. Yeah, I'll kill my bullfrog in two turns. It's no good to me. Sacrifice the squirrel. Put down the bullfrog. Golden pelt won't, won't stop it either. The Kingfisher army. I have to put my squirrel. The squirrel can actually be used to push back the Kingfishers. We will end turn. I don't want to risk him taking my golden pelts and like keeping them. I don't know how the mechanics of that work. You take that. Hmm. Another squirrel. Put the squirrel here. Turn into a wolf. Yes. Wait. Oh, the bifurcated strike, I forgot. Works out fine, though. Hmm. Squirrel. Push those things back. Oh, the bifurcated strike and the wolf so strong. 
Already defeated. Go fish. This actually works out perfectly. Like, actually perfectly. I didn't even plan it. Give me a squirrel. But the wolf will completely not even attack the bait buckets. It's six. He's just dead this turn. Bifurcated wolf. OP. Just that easy. Bifurcated wolf. Gets it done. Your lives are restored. Thank you. Perhaps one of these will entice you. The geek. Gek. The DOS. It's decent. Long elk. Hmm. Touch of death. Just having a touch of death card is useful. Having a free card is not terrible for sacrificing. But if you draw that, you could just like try to draw on a squirrel instead. I just realized if you look at the top left corner, it shows you what like type it is. That's a lizard card. This is like the elk card or whatever. So it wasn't obvious. The DOS is decent, but always it's it's kind of hard to get value out of. Go for the long elk. Just a gear four bones for like an insta kill on something. Shaken, but with a newfound resolve, you move past the pond where the angler now lay. Fantastic. Let me think. The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chill in your bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth. You had finally reached the snow line. Let's move around. Oh! I should have looked at the other things with my fancy eye. Take a picture. It will last longer. Those smudges there. Still haven't got that elk. Thing over here. Keep sealed. So we're not supposed to let this thing out. Could it be? You have the master's eye. D does this mean the master can see me? Magnificus. Can you see me? Can you free me? It is done. The master is free. Oh. The end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Interesting. Oh, I see you have a little something special up your sleeve. Fear not. I won't blow your cover. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. He's talking about the camera roll I have. Maybe if you've defeated him, you'll get a chance. Same text. Oh, different task. Opportunity to use it. I've seen challengers touch his legendary camera. But only if they're able to defeat him. So we gotta beat him. Defeat him once more. That should do it. He has no idea what you have up your sleeve. Okay. So if we beat him, we can use the special camera uh, film in the camera to take his picture. Hello. I'll take these. Interesting. Oh, there's a little smudgy there. This bifurcated eye thing, or not bifurcated, this special eye thing is cool. I like it. Hmm. Elk fawn. Wait, is that can give us the... Does the elk fawn grow into the elk we need to do the one thing? We need this in the leftmost and then a squirrel next to it. Mantis. Grizzly. Honestly, I'm tempted to get a grizzly for, like, if we die this run, we can have a chance of getting like a strong boy. But this has a chance of getting the painting thing. If I figured out how to do it properly, which I probably won't. Mm, infusion. That thing. The traitor. We don't have any pelts for them, I don't think. I think the left path. Hello. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health, said one. I think I will. Pick something else. Do what you must. Alright, so wherever we play, we'll get stronger. 
one. Hmm. The question is, if you must, what do we want to make stronger? We can make CG play stronger. It's a three seven. It attacks three people at once. If we only do it once, it's just a guaranteed plus two. Or we can put something else in and take risks. This is actually a good way to like clear out a card you don't want. Hmm. I'm pretty okay with these cards. I can make Reginald stronger. It's a 1-5 that insta-kills. Maybe, uh... Hmm. Let's just give CG plays just one boost. And call it good. Keep it right there, said one survivor. The creature could become more powerful. But the survivors looked hungrier by the second. Push your luck or pull away. I'll pull away. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your CG plays. I'll take it. Don't take the risk on a strong card like that. On a weak card, you can take more risk, but not on a strong one. You took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth, but you must defeat him first. Stunted wolf. Okay, what do we have? The elk fawn. Hmm. If they attack me, they'll actually die to the porcupine. It's pretty good, actually. Porcupine can kill. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Over here, perhaps? And turn. One for the scales. And a dead elk fawn. Hmm. What now? Perhaps a squirrel. So it's my turn, so you'll kill that. You'll move in front of it and probably transform, right? Actually, you'll move in front of it. This thing can actually take out... I don't want to sacrifice this, because this can kill that. And then, hey, put the hand away. You'll kill that, and then this one will also die to it, I think, so... I can summon the stunted wolf, though. Have you start doing some work for us? Are you sure? I think so. Yeah. Worked out great. Although you are not protected from that, so you'll die in two turns of that. Which is not ideal. We'll wait. Two there, two there. They'll probably win the battle force before he can even kill you. Actually, he won't. This bifurcated strike. Actually, really strong on a one cost card. Probably strong on all cards, to be honest. Trafficate strike on you. So strong. So many teeth. Golden. Mine. Go here next. I should have looked at my deck before I went in here to refresh my mind. And what I had. The Trial of Blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. I don't think we have that many high cost cards. The Trial of Bones. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. We have a couple bone cards, but the odds of us getting enough is slim. The trial of Kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. Can I like press W to like... I can't... Oh, I can look at my deck. That's good. So how many kin do I have? Um... I don't... It's hard to see, so we got one elk, one wolf, two wolves, one insect, I guess that's one lizard. We have two that are kin, the two wolves. Aside from that's it. There's literally, I would have to draw these two cards. What about bones? How many do I have that cost bones? One that costs bones. Two. Three. I would need to draw this card for bones. Wait, no, it's five, right? I would need to draw... I guess my odds of drawing these two is slimmer than drawing... Um, two... I just need to draw two of the three bone cards. I suppose the two of these out of all of them. Still slim. Four blood. We have... Well, we have one, a zero, a bunch of zeros. A zero. A two. A one. The odds of getting four blood is actually fairly slim. Actually, no. We draw this. Like two. 
If I have three or four two cost cards, it's probably b better odds. Two, one, two. I think blood might be our best chance. Though slim. Let the trial of blood begin. Unlucky. Very unlucky. No good. Failure. We had bad odds no matter what we did. Moving on. Hello? What shall we infuse? We could get something else, the ability to kill and move around. Ooh. I could try to comp combine these strong cards. At the end of the day, you're just a 1 3 with Touch of Death. I could try to give Touch of Death to one of the guys with the Bifurcated Strike. Or Trifurcated Strike. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. That'd be good. We get lucky. Um, the wolf. Unlucky, actually. Is there any way I can, like, undo that? Like, click you again? Oh, I can't, I can read. Oh. I can change it, good to know. Alright, so what else do we want to infuse? I could do stinky to reduce power. Get some porcupine. Alright, well, maybe I do it in the other order. Who am I charging up? Who, who am I making better? Somebody good, right? You have bifurcated strike. You'd be a good one to boost somehow. You have the insta kill. What if I give you, Mr. Two Two, bifurcated strike one cost? What if I give you, ooh, yeah, I could give you insta kill. That way you could kill two at once, sometimes from behind safety. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. We're losing a 1-3, but we're buffing up a 2-2 two, two with Bifurcated Strike because of the totem. Yeah. Worth it. A taste of my former glory. Nice. Moving on. The Elk Fawn. So... Ooh... I would need to somehow place you here and then pin you here and keep you alive. I have a squirrel there in order to um, complete that weird painting challenge. I can't play you now because um, you'll get killed. So we need to put a squirrel here. Keep that tile free somehow. Um, actually, I can kill the squirrel and put you there. And then next turn I block your path and then you'll move back to that way. It could work. It could work. Hmm, it's a gamble though. Get that spider out of here. Gross. Hmm. It's a gamble. Perhaps we put the... Try to secure victory first. Wait a little bit longer. Got a lot of these coming in, don't you? Alright, so, well, we need to be able to summon. Again, I can't put you there because the thing behind it will kill you. Hmm. I want to win, but I also want to accomplish this painting challenge. I guess I can put you... Squirrel here. Kill the squirrel. Put you here to, like, grow. And end turn. Oops, that's, that's not what I wanted at all. Alright, I guess we're not getting it this time. Unlucky. Literally throwing the match trying to get this challenge done and it's not happening. Alright, Squirrel. I need you to go here. Stoat to kill this thing. Maybe we might have lost by trying to get that challenge done. And we failed the challenge because I didn't pay attention to the movement. Yep, unlucky. Oh well. I forgot it moved after attack. I thought it wouldn't move to the next turn. How disappointing. It's fine. That's why we have two candles. Ah, yes, the Mushroom Man. We must go to the Mushroom Man to combine our cards. Grizzly? Ah, oh, the, the Sadistic Pronghorn. 
Woe be to those that meet the end of its antlers. Hmm. Grizzly's strong. A little bit hard to play. I'll take it, though. Time to combine something. The question is to combine the golden things. We need duplicates. One for each of us. The golden pelts give us, like, a... A golden pelt normally gives you a rare reward. Two golden pelts combined gives you, like, an upgraded rare. Or I could just get uh, a 4-4 four, four, two-cost pack rat with Corpse Eater. Which is not terrible. Hmm. You know what, let's just do that. This procedure. It is grisly. Look away. What? What have we done? Made it stronger. 4-4. Four, four. That'll play itself when something dies. Onward. Stunted wolf. Good. Grizzly early draw and a golden pelt. Not great. Luckily they start off weak here. Actually, if I put my stunted wolf right there, it'll kill those raven eggs before they hatch. A good trade. Use me wisely. I shall. Four damage. Powerful. One damage there. Careful now. Draw. Squirrel. You will kill both of those. Then you'll die to the elk fawn. I can use the golden pelt to block some damage from the porcupine. We wait. The elk is strong though. I need to put that grizzly down. Live in the meantime. I can't use the pelt. To Oh boy. So much damage. One more squirrel. Now comes the grizzly. A powerful creature. Four six will destroy the elk like it's nothing. Let's set this up for victory. Draw this. Golden pelt. We'll stop some damage. Give us a slight edge. The damage per round. Another raven comes in. A problem. A wolf. Bifurcate strike. Can't play it. The problem is that raven they just put in. They're dealing more damage. I need to draw a good card. Oh, if only I'd drawn a squirrel the turn before. This thing, if I had drawn a squirrel last turn and I had drawn that, we could have had a chance. I have no items. I think we've lost. There's nothing I can do. Too much damage. I've made mistakes. What a shame. Don't touch me. No. Your death card. Beautiful. Though, it could use some detail. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. Free. From the Golden Pelt. Power and health. 4-6. That's why I chose the Grizzly. For this death card. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Hmm... We could go for Sharp Quills. We could go for Sprinter and Touch of Death. Or we could give it Sprinter and Fledgling. To be fair, a 4-6 is going to kill most things it hits in one shot anyways. Plus we can make it into, a, I think this makes it into a 5-7. And it'll move around the board to kill more things. Or just have it give it quills. I'll have it move around and grow stronger. Yes. Sprinter and fledgling. Let's 
It's the same every time you ask. One last thing to do. Stay still. But I have your film roll. Say cheese. You must have more than one. I had such high hopes for that last one. Why do I bother... Why do I bother trying to teach you? You... You will learn as we go, or you will die. Oh, that's right, we still have it. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. That foul, stunted wolf? You really want such a creature in your deck. The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt. So it stands. Okay. I think we wrap it up our recording session for the day here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos.